hi so now i will be teaching you another feature called whole wizard this one for this you need to draw a sketch or rectangle on the front plane and i'll draw a rectangle and uh, let's say okay we'll extrude it as usual and uh, let's say okay then uh, make this thing normal left click ok now whole wizard click on the whole wizard it shows different options so these are the different options now what are the options look at it first one is counter bore this is called the counter bore this is counter sink or counter sunk this becomes a normal hole this becomes the straight tap this is taper tap and this is legacy hole so this kind of holes can be made directly with the help of the feature hole wizard so let's see what are the options first I'll select this one this is the counter board in counter board you will find the different options such as the standards left click look these are the different standards but generally i use iso or nc so we'll keep it only the default which is nc now this is the type what kind of heads you want to fit on the hole so it's hex screw hex finish bolt pan cross head pan slot head mini there are lots and lots of options we'll check one of these later this is a size sizes means it is m1 m2 m3 m4 different sizes as you learned in your engineering this becomes uh, this is the real engineering fit what kind of fit you want you want loose fit you want normal fit you want close fit okay this is the conditions so i will keep through all the conditions i will keep the same <coughs> and I will make a counter board. Oh, okay. On I want to make a counter board over here somewhere. Position hmm, type. Let's say we'll make it okay. You must select a point on the face to look at the hole okay so I want to select a position where I want to keep my hole here okay done okay now see this is the place where I kept my point and I have found out my counter board this is my counter board now uh, I'll first make uh, this thing normal or right click again make it normal on the other side no I don't want on the other side I want only on this side okay now here what I'll be doing is I'll make one more hole wizard one more hole but this time what I'm going to do is we'll change this I'll make it mm, socket head shoulder screw something different yes something different and the position will be somewhere here but what I will be doing is I will be doing smart dimensions okay I'll select the center orange color thing left click and on the edge I want it 10 I want this thing 10 click and make it 10 and one more uh, smart dimension position I want to do is between these two edge and between click here and click here these two edge I will make it 30 I want 30 yes this is 30 this is done now whole position is done whole is done now let's see okay now see how the part is made so these are both these are counter boards but with different heads now we'll see what are the difference look there is some chamfer kind of thing over here and over here this chamfer is very small and 
and the dimensioning and everything is different as the heads are different so one more thing I'll be doing is I will make um, I want to make something else now yes I want to make some other hole let's go to hole wizard and then the select the second type of hole which is the counter sink left click position click over here and again I will be doing smart dimensions zoom in click here click here second click this is 10 I may want to make it 10 for example this should be 10 and one more smart dimensions between this and this line okay no I don't selected it properly smart dimensions between this point orange point yes and between this line yes I want to make it 30 yes so okay and this is also okay look how the hole has been made this is the counter sunk hole it's time to make one more hole go to hole wizard and then we'll select the third option the normal hole click position click over here and then start the start dimensions click click make it 10 and then again click over here click make it 40 and then uh, for this thing what I need to do is this is damage my dimension is okay position is okay everything is okay click okay look I made a hole which is very 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 small as you can see as you can see inside yes it is very small because the dimensions are small but yes definitely I made a hole again it's time to make one more hole wizard left click on the hole wizard now see this thing the tap now you should understand why you need to make a tap so the tap tap is a pre-cut hole so if you want to drill anything uh, before drilling you need some guide so this tap acts as a guide this is a straight tap and this is a taper tap so what I will be doing is making a straight tap first now position I want it over here and then smart dimensions we we'll click here here again making it 10 and then again smart dimensions this and this making it 45 okay 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 yes now I made a tap look this is the straight tap which I have made I will be making one more tap hold wizard which is taper tap this one again the positions and then on this face oh this is very big go to type and then the size is 116 only 18 it is still big one is very big so the least is this no problem we'll make it we'll make it sketch uh, positions I've selected the positions now and select the smart dimensions so click here click here again making it 10 click here and I'll click here this thing I'll make it 5 okay and then okay again okay and you can see now look how the hole is being made this is the tapered tapered tap but do you find a taper over here <laughs> you don't find a taper I don't find a taper it's written as a taper hole what kind of taper is this so uh, SOLIDWORKS provides such tapers but uh, there might be some taper but the angle of the taper is very low what I can do is I can make it a section and then uh, I don't want this section this is a section but 
I, I don't want this section I want section over here so I selected top plane and then section look from here I wanted this and then I will decrease this up to here now with the section I can find lock it is taper it is taper but the angle is very less look these are two straight lines and this is an angle so this is definitely a taper okay so close this don't select this don't select this and now what left is features hold wizard one thing is left this is the legacy hole legacy hole click position I want it over here somewhere okay again go to smart dimensions over here click click make it 10 or make it 15 this time 15 and again smart dimensions over here yeah somewhere no again yeah and yeah no it's not selecting properly between these two and between these two distances click here properly yeah and then yeah 22 around 30 okay and then make it one okay and second okay yes the hole has been made this is the legacy hole will rotate look yes so these are the different types of holes in hole wizard option and look in legacy hole it shows the diameter is 6 and the depth is 11 so this is the fixed legacy hole this is not the variable one so these are the different types of holes which you get in hole wizard but the difference between hole and legacy hole in legacy hole everything is fixed but in hole it's loading yes in hole you can change it you can change the sizes look these are the different sizes and uh, so this is the difference Bet between this is counter bore and counter sunk look the heads the heads are different and uh, between these two this is a bit tapered one and this is a flat one so these are the options in whole specification close it thank you